While I've shared with you uh, seven tips, I'd like to share with you some actual insights from uh, actual millennials and the uh, two Z Generation C members on how they would uh, answer certain questions. So I've interviewed a conglomerate of cousins. So when I say conglomerate of cousins, these young, young people are actually related to one another. First, we have the Achiever mom. Anna, who is 31 years old, she graduated with BA in Indonesia and speaks Bahasa very well. She's a working mom, she has two kids, and very successful at her work. She's actually uh, employed in one of the largest uh, multinational firm in the Philippines. And, you know, with her achievement, uh, she was able to build a new home for her family and transferred there in January 2018. So, Anna, with her work, She's very dedicated, and in account management, she says relationship skills are key in achieving my KPI targets. Next respondent is Raymond. Raymond is also 31 years old. He's a sales manager for the number one soft, soft drink brand. This is his third, or I think probably fourth company already. And uh, Raymond loves to uh, take on challenges. He's very good into uh, uh, managing people, especially the field people. And for a young guy like him, you'll be surprised how he was able to maneuver the success of his career. Actually, because of that success, Raymond now owns two condominiums, one in BGC and the other one in Rockwell, the Grove in Pasig. And take note, this young guy already drives his own BMW. And at work, Raymond would always say account management is easier than trade marketing. So I've actually interviewed them on certain challenges at their work. Okay? And they're advising people on how to be successful when they get to enter the workforce. Next, we have a respondent and his name is Enrique. Enrique is 25 years old and he's on his first job. He's actually on his third year and working for a multinational fuel company. His work as a product uh, scheduler for this fuel company is very toxic because his schedule uh, deprives him of Saturday and Sunday. So his day off is actually weekdays. But then again, being a millennial himself, it doesn't bother him like previous generation who requires a Saturday and Sunday rest days. So here, Enrique is a certified Six Sigma yellow belt and uh, he's looking forward to completing his Six Sigma certification. And mind you, this guy has uh, love and uh, what you call that, admiration to the K-pop culture. And uh, he once said, you know, the school world is very much different from the real world. So this is what it really looks like. So on his third year, he's beginning to have the grasp of how challenging work is, okay? Then we have a lady, two ladies who are coming after the millennials. I'm discussing Gen Z for us to be able to uh, learn what's next after the millennials. And now that they're in the workforce, we are actually seeing three generations of people, of workers in the company. So we have the boomers, the, the millennials, and we are now a quick snapshot of two Gen Zs. So Precious is 22 years old. She's an HR partner in a financial institution in BGC. She had an opportunity to study tour in New York and Washington, D.C. two years ago. Actually, today, she's actually surfing in Chargao. Okay. And uh, when we ask her, how was work? And Pesho said, work is great. I'm able to do what I'm trained, although it's really very difficult when you get to the corporate world because sometimes you get to wear what you're not used to wearing, like heels. But she's very excited to work. Next, we have Joey. Joey just recently entered the workforce, and uh, she's going on her sixth month. She loves her job, and she works for a famous uh, shopping platform here in the country. 